welcome. Today, I'm going to be providing you with a brief demonstration on how to create drop boxes and quiz items that will then be integrated with the gradebook and the D2L Bright Space Learning Management System. We'll also briefly discuss how we can add rubrics into our Dropbox. Now, let's get started. First, we're going to come up here to Grades and the Navigation Bar and select it. From the Grades page, you can see that we have items that we want to be graded. So, I went ahead and already created our first five weeks with the Dropbox and the quiz. So, let's go ahead and finish off adding Week 5. So, we're going to select New and then Item and then Numeric. And from here, I'm going to say this is going to be week five Dropbox. I'm going to assign it to a category, which will be week five. And then I'm going to keep my points at 10. Since I'm adding a new item, I'm going to go ahead and hit Save and New. Then I'm going to go back to Numeric. And this time, I'm going to do week five quiz. I'm going to come assign it to the week five category, and then I am going to give it out of 20 points. Now that I'm done adding all my items, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close. Now when we come, you can see each week has a Dropbox and a quiz item created. We want to do this first before we try to connect these items to the gradebook. So let's go ahead and come up here, click assessments, and go to Dropbox. We're going to select new, and this process is how we're going to integrate it with the, the, uh, the items with the gradebook. So this we're just going to say is, oops, sorry, week one Dropbox. We're going to select that it's going to be out of 10, and as you can see in gradebook, opens up when we put in our graded out of. So we're going to click on that drop down. And we're going to link to existing. From here, we're going to click link to existing graded item again. And then let's hit this drop down menu. And let's go to the week one drop box. Then we're going to select OK. From here, we can go over to evaluations and feedback. And we can add a rubric that we've already created. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to say add existing. And then I'm going to pick the demo rubric and I'm going to add selected. And then we can go ahead and select save and close. And again, we're going to go to new folder and we're going to create one for each week. So this is going to be week two. We're going to give it out of 10 points. We're going to link it to an existing item. And we're going to go to week number two, Dropbox, select OK. And then again, we want to add a rubric. So we're going to add rubric, rubric. we're going to add existing. And then we're going to do the demo rubric, and we're going to add select. And then we're going to hit save and close. And we'll keep doing this same process until we get all five weeks added. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you back at the end of week five. Right now that I'm back for week five, I'm going to go ahead and hit new folder. And then I'm going to select week five Dropbox. Again, I'm going to do it out of 10 points. I'm going to link it to my item, which is a week five Dropbox. If you notice, the other Dropboxes for the weeks are gone now because we've connected them. So I'm going to select OK. I'm going to go over ahead and put the rubric in. Okay, and for the sake of this, there are other um, options that you can add, but for time's sake, I'm using this option for add a rubric. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close. And then this right here shows you that these 
Dropbox items have been linked to the gradebook. Now, we're gonna go and we are going to do our quizzes and I'm gonna show you how we can link those. So we'll go to new quiz. We'll go ahead and give it a title. So we'll say week one quiz. We're gonna go to the not in grade books. We'll select that and we're gonna again, link it to an existing item that we've already created. So we'll go to the week one quiz hit OK and you see the points here were added because we did that during um, our setup. Then we're going to come to evaluation and feedback. There are other things that you can do, conditions and displays, but we're going to just do the evaluation feedback. And we want to make sure that our quiz auto publishes the results immediately and we want to publish the attempted grade. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to hit visible and then we're going to hit save and close. Now this item has been added to the gradebook and now we're just going to keep going along until we get to five. All right now that I'm back for week five, I'm going to go ahead and select new quiz. And I'm going to title this week five quiz. I'm going to say add it link to uh, existing. Go ahead and link it again. Go down to the week five quiz. Select OK. Verify that it's gonna be um, automatically released and the attempted grade's gonna be released. And then I can hit save and close. And as you can see, all of my quizzes have been integrated with the gradebook. Now before we go, I wanna show you two things. The first thing I wanna show you is that even though we added a rubric in with each of our Dropbox items, there's also another way so say for the week one discussion grade, I want to add a rubric. I can select the drop down, hit edit, and I can come right in here and I can say add rubric. And then I'll just add my demo rubric and then I'll hit add select and I'll save and close. And now you can see successfully saved. So it's going to have that rubric here. And then to just double check, to make sure that we have our Dropbox and our quiz items associated with the gradebook, we're gonna come down and we're gonna make sure that each set for each week has the little question mark and the name created, and it does. And that is how you can use the various tools within the D2O Brightspace Learning Management System. Thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm.